Hello, my Cancer family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your December 2020 monthly reading. Taking a look at what is the main message coming through the tea leaf cards for this month. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you if you already subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now, just a brief reminder, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating. Now, I have pulled four cards asking my guides what is the main focus this month for my Cancer family. So let's take a look. Chain, Ram, Seahorse, Nest. Okay, Cancer. Now you can possibly view these four cards individually as for each week, or what I'm more looking at the first half of the month and then possibly the second half of December. So first, let's take a look at each of the cards individually. Okay, Cancer. So first you have Chain. Well, this card is indicating a chain of events, Cancer, that will affect your life. And it's showing a chain that's really thick and strong, and it stretches across the world, binding people and events together. So this card's indicating that a chain of events will affect your life, either directly or indirectly. Now going on to your next card, Ram. This is indicating a stubborn and aggressive person, possibly an Aries since this is a Ram and someone around you, Cancer. Now the Ram guards its territory prepared to do battle with anyone or anything that gets in its way. So this card is really indicating that either you, Cancer, are going to be stubborn and aggressive, or you're gonna have something to do with a person who is stubborn and aggressive. Either way, Cancer, take care and consider diplomacy as the best way to go. And your next card is Seahorse. And as the card says, family matters. Now what this card is showing is a seahorse who floats calmly in warm waters. And even though this seahorse is male, it carries eggs from the female in its pouch where they'll remain until they're hatched. So, this card signifies that you'll possibly be feeling weighed down by family members during this month. And your last card here is Nest. And the Nest card is indicating here an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you, Cancer. And as we look at the card, we see a nest full of eggs sitting comfortably in the tree. And the nest is hidden from view by the leaves on the tree, making it safe from predators who would steal the eggs. So this card is specifically signifying that it's important for you to be part of a supportive and loving family. So, okay, Cancer. So the first thing that I'm picking up with this reading, it has a tremendous amount to do with your family, which is not surprising since it is a holiday month and the season for giving and receiving gifts and a lot of parties, get togethers. So it's the one month out of the year that you're really seeing a lot of friends and family. But you do have two main cards here, right here, that are bringing up family. And the chain card could go off in so many directions. This is a general reading, and my mind is just spinning on all the different ways that this could go off for you. 
looking at the chain card, this is a very solid chain. And the thing that I'm really looking at is it's stretching across the world. And I'm not picking up a negative energy, so that's a good thing. But it just makes me think of the pandemic right now. Because more than ever, this past year, it wasn't just one area. It was worldwide. And I usually don't like to bring up the COVID topic, but there is one message coming through from my guides. And it's in regards to something that's going to crush this virus. So most likely vaccines, because this is something very strong that's going to be shared worldwide. And it's in your reading, Cancer, because it's going to directly or indirectly affect your life. Because if they find something to stop this pandemic, and I use the, the term they, scientists, health care officials, all of those people are encompassed in the they, the people that are working towards a solution for this. So if they find something to stop this pandemic and this virus, that's definitely going to affect you, Cancer. Even though maybe for some cancer individuals, you may not have come down with this virus, but wow, this, this is really a very revolutionary type of energy. That's the best way I can put it. So that would be my biggest guess that something very promising will be coming soon in regards to this topic. And of course, it's going to affect everyone worldwide, either directly or, uh, or directly if you're ill or indirectly that you get the vaccine and you don't have to worry about it again, hopefully. So as your nest card, the chain card is directly across from your, your nest card. So your nest card is indicating how important your family is to you. So here's your connection. So yeah, the more I'm talking about it, my guys are kind of like, they're all shaking their head to me. Yes, yes, yes. Such good news. Now, in the other direction, let's first talk about your ram card. So is this going to be you, Cancer? Are you the stubborn and aggressive one? You're not an Aries. So is there a fire sign in your family or around you, maybe somebody at work? What this card is showing up to tell you is that you should handle this individual with diplomacy. Don't get yourself all worked up with how this per person is acting. Just try to be diplomatic when dealing with them. And I don't specifically feel anything in regards to the chain card that's being right next to the ram. Except that if the chain is in regards to something that's going to eliminate the pandemic, Possibly this stubborn person that the Ram card's indicating is not going to want to participate in whatever that is. Now your seahorse card, Cancer, this is more something that's really going to affect you. And it's kind of falling into that third week here since second half of the month. And it's kind of falling into the third week. So you're going to be weighed down by family matters. And that's not surprising at this time of year where you're trying to bake and decorate and buy gifts for everyone and who's coming over on the holiday and their expectations of you. And there's just so many different ways, you know, that the seahorse card could have you feeling weighed down. But I do feel this card is responding to your chain card as well. It's going to affect you how you've been feeling very weighed down. But I think it's going to go in a positive spin for you, Cancer. And definitely being next to your nest card. Yeah. You're going to have people coming over celebrating. You're going to see more of your relatives than you ever have in other months. They might be spending a week with you for some Cancer individuals. And then 
since it's directly across from the ram right here, this could be somebody that's coming over for the holidays or that you see this month. And yeah, this is somebody who's stubborn and very aggressive. And they're just going to, they're going to, you're going to be exhausted by this person here. <laughs> Cancer, sorry to say. And also with everything else that you're handling because it's the holidays. So for your month, Cancer, it looks like whatever this chain card is, is in regards to, it's indicating it's going to affect your life. And again, this is directly or indirectly, depending on if you have loved ones in the hospital with the virus. But I believe this card is coming up with something that's going to eliminate this pandemic. So yeah, that's going to affect everyone on the planet. Now, in all fairness, there could be other things going on in the world that might affect you, the company you work for. And that can directly or indirectly affect, be affecting you because of the pandemic. It's affecting so many things. So this can affect you, cancer, possibly through your work, your livelihood, but I still don't get a negative energy. This is a very revolutionary type energy, what I'm feeling coming off of this card. But the rest of your cards here are all indicating about family. And your seahorse card is just that you're tired. This is falling right around when Christmas is happening. So you might have had so much to do to prepare for that day. You might be preparing the meal. You had to go out and do all the shopping, the baking, all of that. And now for some of you, you're going to have an individual as represented here by your Ram card, possibly coming over for the holidays and just being stubborn and aggressive. And isn't there always one relative in our families that's like that? Overbearing, loud, aggressive type of relative. Could be an Aries, since the card shows a ram. But your nest egg card is indicating that even through it all, your family is so important to you. So no matter what you have to go through this month, no matter how tired you might be, family means everything to you. So Cancer, your reading is kind of the typical, it's a holiday month and all the relatives are coming over and you're going to have to deal with them. Some are going to be demanding and difficult and you're going to be tired from everything that involves the holiday season. But through it all, you love your family and you love getting together and celebrating the holidays. And let's not forget about the revolutionary energy of the chain card. There's going to be something happening in the world that I feel is going to be very positive. And that's why the card says it's going to directly or indirectly affect you, Cancer. So most likely, Cancer, I think whatever the chain card is bringing in will make for a much more promising year of 2021. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to obtain further information, click on my website link below for your own private reading. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help support my channel if you haven't already. And please join me for my daily readings or check out my channel for other tarot card readings available. Love and abundance to my Cancer family.